the President of the United States. We are 15 years into this new century. 15 years that dawned with terror touching our shores, that unfolded with a new generation fighting two long and costly wars, that saw a vicious recession spread across our nation and the world. It has been, and still is, a hard time for many. But tonight, we turn the page. Tonight, the shadow of crisis has passed, and the State of the Union is strong. Middle-class economics works. Expanding opportunity works. And these policies will continue to work as long as politics don't get in the way. That's why my plan will make quality child care more available and more affordable for every middle-class and low-income family with young children in America, by creating more slots and a new tax cut of up to $3,000 per child per year. And everyone in this Congress who still refuses to raise the minimum wage, I say this. If you truly believe you could work full-time and support a family on less than $15,000 a year, try it. And that's why I'm sending this Congress a bold new plan to lower the cost of community college to zero. Let's close loopholes so we stop rewarding companies that keep profits abroad and reward those that invest here in America. Let's use those savings to rebuild our infrastructure. We can use that money to help more families pay for child care and send their kids to college. Of course, if there's one thing this new century has taught us, is that we cannot separate our work here at home from challenges beyond our shores. Instead of sending large ground forces overseas, we're partnering with nations from South Asia to North Africa to deny safe haven to terrorists who threaten America. Last year, Mr. Putin's aggression, uh, it was suggested, was a masterful display of strategy and strength. That's what I heard from some folks. Well, today, it is America that stands strong and united with our allies, while Russia is isolated with its economy in tatters. You know, in Cuba, we are ending a policy that was long past its expiration date. When what you're doing doesn't work for 50 years, it's time to try something new. The Pentagon says that climate change poses immediate risks to our national security. We should act like it. Just over a decade ago, I gave a speech in Boston where I said there wasn't a liberal America or a conservative America, a black America or a white America but a United States of America. Over the past six years, the pundits have pointed out more than once that my presidency hasn't delivered on this vision, but I still think the cynics are wrong. I've seen something like gay marriage go from a wedge issue used to drive us apart to a story of freedom across our country, a civil right now legal in states that seven in 10 Americans call home. So the question for those of us here tonight is how we, all of us, can better reflect America's hopes. A better politics is one where we appeal to each other's basic decency instead of our basest fears. A better politics is one where we debate without demonizing each other. I have no more campaigns to run. My only agenda, I know because I won both of them. Um, my only agenda for the next two years is the same as the one I've had since the day I swore an oath on the steps of this Capitol, to do what I believe is best for America. Thank you. God bless you. God bless this country we love. Thank you.